All right, Daytona time, and I think we all know my thoughts on Daytona and Talladega, and now New Atlanta. Um, not very fun racing for me. I don't like having nowhere to go. So, um, yeah, just the way that you got to race, what you got to do, how it works is just uh, like the one time that plate racing was cool was during the tandem era. That was great to watch. It was freaking amazing in iRacing. Um, it was so much fun to do in iRacing, but uh, obviously you had to have teammates. You had to have someone that you knew that you were working with that you could talk to. Um, and so when that went away, a lot of people were happy because a lot of people race like I do where they're alone and, uh, not on a team. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately we're just gonna go around in circles and eventually wreck. Hopefully if we are in a wreck, it happens on lap one and not... A bunch of wrecks in yellows. Looks like we are the number three. I think we might be in second split. Just a guess. But, um, yeah. We will hopefully do okay. Um, not sitting in the back for this. 25 laps fixed series. Um, only we're sitting in the back when there's a long race and strategy. So, that is not the plan. We're going to qualify. If we qualify in the back, then, you know, we'll give ourselves some distance. But we want any chance of getting a top whatever. Top three. I guess is what we can aim for, then we'll, uh, we'll qualify and see where we end up. 23 trucks in this one. Um, right now, oh, got someone with a high ping from Brazil, someone from France, and someone from Germany, or I forgot what the other ones stand for. So... Austria? Check. Maybe. Probably not. So, yeah, if we've got those in the middle of uh, the pack, it could be disastrous, but it can be disastrous even if your ping's not high, so... Tires don't matter. Heat doesn't matter in qualifying. It's all about getting that smooth lap around the bottom. Get it up to speed. You don't need to do the whole first lap around the high side. But you definitely want to right now just to get everything up to that maximum. I don't even know what the max is. I've only done a little bit of drafting practice. I assume 75. It might get itself up to 80. I'm just going to stay here in the middle rather than climb the hill. Yeah, 74. I assume it's going to be the most we can get out of it. Maybe not even that. Climb the hill at the 
exit. That's not good. That was very bad. We're gonna lose about a mile an hour from that. And be very slow. We should have been at 171 at least at the line, so... That was just bad driving on my part. Bobble in the one. A little slower down the back stretch than we were last lap. Most exciting qualifying you can do in iRacing. Three, three, one right now. Now we wait a minute and forty seconds to see if we fall. So another trick that some people do that run force feedback is just turn it off for qualifying. That way none of those bumps are moving your wheel. Because every time the force feedback moves your wheel, it's moving the tires, which is scrubbing a bit of speed. Um, the force If the force feedback's not moving your wheel, then you can hold the wheel perfectly straight. And over the bumps, you're not going to get as big of a movement in your tires. So... Just a little hint for those that uh, want to pick up a tiny bit more speed. I didn't do that this time because didn't really care. Here we go. P3, I'll take that. Now, unfortunately, I watch Gavin's race, and I see a name in here that was screwing around in his race the whole time. So, hopefully we don't have to deal with that, but we will probably. Uh, looks like Trevor is going to fall out or kill the field. 13, 14, and 15... Okay, they're all decent pings. The 9 is decent ping. Really good ping. So, uh, we shouldn't have anything to worry about up front. Other than getting turned. Um, the 2 car is not going to like me. Hopefully we can just get the 1 car to drop in behind him. And then I won't have to push. I really hate pushing. Um, yeah, so. Especially if we're getting pushed into the person, which we could be. A lot of people think that you have to slam draft, and it's so stupid. You're going to be so much quicker if you keep that nose right under the spoiler. You don't even have to touch him. But there was some guy in practice, like 1,500 IR, that was just slam drafting me every time in the middle of the straightaway. And then he would lose so much distance to me after doing that, that we were going slower because of it. And it's just like, dude, it's slam draft has not been a thing 
You have two additional Terrific. sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. I do not recognize that YouTube name. Not that you can really see it with that design. Uh, black on black, usually not a good idea. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. Pit road is closed. Alright, so we got a Toyota in front of us, Chevy on the outside. Toyota on the outside of us. Not a whole lot of Fords, it looks like. I used to run the Ford, but the Toyota just looks so much better. And I base my car choices off of looks. I think the Chevy is the worst looking one. I just hope we get what Gavin got. All green. Pacing here sucks. Never fun to do. Maybe? 
I don't know, that was weird. Haven't done much pack racing since they put on all the side force stuff. Finally, have stopped dragging the brake though. It only took me three years to get that old plate footwork out of my brain and switch to this spacer. The plate you had to drag the brake so that you could just keep the throttle up. This you can lift off a little bit and be fine. Uh, can we just do five lap races every ten minutes? That'd be, that'd be much better. It's all the same, right? Top side's working decently. Getting frustrated with me and trying to go around. He's gonna open the door for a new person behind us. But then in the middle broke up bad there. We got people coming three wide. Leader didn't have a very good run. Got someone at the back of our pack jumping all around. Hitting the left side tires on the transition. Not very smart. People backing off again. They know that we're all about to die. Power move from the outside lane all the way down to the lead. Fourth in line now. And now the leader is getting hooked and turned. And we all stay off of each other. And now we're going to the back. No idea what happened to the leader there, but that killed our run. And people are going to be able to drop down in front of me. Is the 20 going to drop down? He thought about it too late. Stay here on the bottom. Now is this guy going to be smart? It looks like it. it. Looks like he's just going to the top. He stays up 
from top, but is he going to stay high enough? My outside is really swaying back and forth off the corners. Oh my god. Why is this race so long? Another lap car. How are these people so far off? They must have already wrecked or checked up for something. And he's going to stay low, isn't he? Well, I guess we'll just do this. Thank you, lap car. Still stupid of you. We've led a lap. Really bad though when I get bumped. Hopefully I don't lose it. And three different people have got ahead of us there. I can say this has been really exciting for the amount of passing that has happened for the lead. But unfortunately the 17 doesn't know that I don't push, so. He's not going to hold on to the lead. Also, the shadowing on his tailgate is horrible. Alright. No caution. We didn't even get a zero X there. Well, I drove as calm as I could through that. Now we just sit on the back of the 14 and I'm sure everyone's gonna catch up to us still. So. I just drove around that. I don't know how, we were in the middle of it. These guys are all going to jump up to the high side. We're just going to stick to the bottom. Because on the bottom there, we had an escape route. I'm guessing one of these guys is going to pop up high. Two cars got a lot of damage on the side, but he's fine. Did no one wreck in that? We all just got sideways. That's impressive. what I thought would happen, so we will just fill in that gap and be third in line again. Ten to go. Alright, back to the pack racing. At least there wasn't a caution. I think... So, now the one car is the leader. I don't think we lost anyone there. I don't know how. And they're trying to wreck it again. Now we're fourth in line. Definitely try 
trying to wreck again. Just extremely aggressive pushing and swaying back and forth. Tried to say low, and we're dead. I was just going too quick. Nothing we could do there. The next car's the leader. Catch up, Paul. Car, you've got some damage. All right, race over. Like I said, rather just get wrecked out on lap one, but. That's Daytona. Just absolutely stupid racing. Pit boxing. Ten. You entered a closed pit. Okay. Got to go to the end of the longest line. Yeah, that's Five, fine. I continue three, on. Two, this two car one, behind me is going right to pit. Here and he's going to be stuck in there for repairs, so if I go another lap, we'll at least finish ahead of him, because he's pit ahead of us, because he out-qualified us. Not that any of it matters. One position isn't going to do anything different, but... Damn it, we could have missed it. I just needed to get on the brakes and turn left, but I still don't... I, we were going too quick to be able to hold it down on the apron. And someone might have been getting shoved down into us anyways. The water test is getting high. Yep. Is it going down? Let's turn the engine off. Didn't work. Catch up, 21, car. How does an engine blow when it's off? Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's Get just, it is yeah. what it is. After the first wreck, we used our Get luck up. up. 22, car. So, not much we can do at that point. When you miss one when you're in the center of it, and then the same people are Get able to six, also drive away from that and cause another wreck, just nothing you can do. I think we'll be able to coast back, but if I don't make it to the entry of pit road... Before the field catches me, then I will exit out. Looks like we got a little hill to go up here. That might not be good for us. But on the other side of the little hill is a downhill. We're almost there. Ten miles an hour. Nine. Eight. Not gonna happen. No one's pitting right now, so we're not gonna affect anything. And now we're on pit road. Now is it true? Can I use the ignition to drive me forward? No, it turns out a blown engine will not drive you forward. All right. Let's take a look at, well, there's only two of them to look at. I'm going to guess this one when we do it a, do a 49 second lap is when we sneak through whatever went on. Got him. So 
17 in the two car. And we missed the six. I mean, it's like prediction code right here. 17 comes up, hits the two, it turns in. Nice little hole opens up. We get back up on track and have room. Everyone gave the space that they needed to give. And then, since everything went to the apron so quick, I think the six was the only one that got turned around. So he's on the apron, and that means no yellow. And then he tries to cause a yellow. No? Nope. Alright. Looked like he was trying to cause one. So then we all get going again. And the 17 and the 2 are together again. Who is it this time? Gets a bit of a hook to the 14. Starts driving down. Goes to the outside of him. We're not on the right line. <laughs> Get to the back stretch. And yeah, the two car and the 17. Once again, cause the wreck. 17 swerves up. Two car hits him. Then he comes up and hits the two car, and then you know, everyone gets sent to the fence. But I don't care about what happened to them. I need to see what I could have done different to miss this. I feel like we were almost out of it. So I'm watching the one because I know he's going to come back up. I cut down, and the 20 just turns left for no reason. I don't know if he had prediction code that sent him down there. Had he just... Yeah, I don't know. But I needed to get on the brakes. Did I get on the brakes at all? Yeah, I got on the brakes, but then back on the gas. I just needed to get on the brakes and get to the apron. It's just right when I got down here, there was nothing I could do, and the 20 was turning down. And then we died. Got two laps to go. All right, well, uh, no results to look at. We're going to lose high rating and safety rating, but that is Daytona. Thanks for watching.